Hey, how are you doing? I was scrolling through the videos in my channel and I suddenly found that I haven't yet met any video on lactical passive. So I thought I should make a video on that and in this video I'm going to teach you how to use lactical passive in French. If you haven't yet learned any article in French, this video is not the best choice for you. Go and check out my video on lactical defini from that i button. In French, actually there are five kinds of articles that you have to learn. It's not like in English, just three words, a, an, the, but five full-fledged kinds of articles in French. Also, I have made a video on lactical and defini, which you can check out by clicking on that i button. Here goes the video on lactical and defini. And as for the other two kinds of articles, I'm keeping them for later. Partitif comes from the word parti, which means part of something. To begin with, we will learn the application of partitif, then how to form lactical partitif, and finally some fun examples. Like when you are eating any good food, will I let you go until you share a part of it with me? Never. Foods are mostly uncountable nouns. I mean when you give me two or three pieces of chicken or mutton, what I will say the next day? I will tell, I kind of forgot. What does the test as one day has passed? Just tell me when you were making it next time. Just give me a call. I will appear to have some meat at lunch. Anytime. Anytime. Why am I talking about foods? Because I love foods. I got sick with COVID, so all those restaurants in the town, which I frequently visit, have closed their doors to mourn for my sickness. Hey, no, no. They just closed because of the curfew thing. Not for me. However, I always love to have some chocolate milkshake as that's one of my favorite drinks. With some extra chocolate scoop. Ah, some beautiful cold chocolate milkshake. So drinks or foods names are usually uncountable nouns. When I take names of foods or drinks or beverage, I'm free to use lactical partitive. That's the first application. For example, I always love to have some chocolate milkshake with some extra chocolate scoop. Some is a word which indicates the uncountability of the nouns milkshake and chocolate scoop. Some is lactical passative. Some, few or many, all these words indicate uncountability or undefined quantity. So all of them are lactical passative in French. Secondly, on that note, when I want to imply uncountability or plural sense, I can use lactical passative. For example, what are you reading? I am reading books. How many books? It's not mentioned. Sometimes we use no indicator of quantity, such as some, few, or many in English, which implies usually the uncountability or the plural sense of a noun. For example, what are there on the table? There are books, notebooks, and pens on the table. How many books, how many pens, how many notebooks aren't mentioned? Here also we will use lactal partitive in French. I love foods. What is your favorite food? What is your favorite drink or beverage? You may share that with me in the comment section. You can always give me a pleasant treat. Just kidding. What you can do is just show me some love and click subscribe. Press on that bell button to remain updated on my upcoming videos. In French with Basu, I try to make your learning French a fun and happy journey. If you like my works, do share the videos with your friends and smash that like button. And please, please, please subscribe and stay happy. Now, how to form lactical partitif? That's very easy. You remember lactical defini? Le, la, al apostrophe, and le. All of them mean the in English. However, if you want to study both lactical defini and adefini and want to use both of them in your sentences, check out this video from this i button. So, we took lactical defini and we will mix one preposition, de. The meaning of that preposition doesn't matter for partitive, so I will not mention. De plus le becomes du. De plus la becomes de la. De plus l apostrophe becomes de l apostrophe. And finally, de plus le becomes de. Du, de la, de l'apostrophe, and de. What is the meaning? Du, de la, de l'apostrophe, and de. All of them mean some, few, or many. 
and sometimes we don't use any article or indicator of quantity in English. There we will use lactal partitive. We will use du in front of masculine singular noun, de la in front of feminine singular noun, and de l apostrophe for nouns starting with a vowel or a vowel sound. De in front of the plural nouns. You learned how to form partitive. I am so happy for you. Let's celebrate this happiness and please click on that subscribe button and let's be happy together forever. I will give you some examples and finally will teach you few exceptions for using partitive. I will give you a lot of examples until it gets totally clear to you. Number one, je mange du riz. I eat or I am eating rice. Look at the use of lateral partitive du before the masculine singular noun ri. Because ri is uncountable, we have used partitive. Number two, elle aime des chocolat. She likes chocolates. Again, chocolat is name of a food. It is uncountable and it is masculine plural. That's why we have used it. De in front of chocolat. Number three, il voudrait avoir des livres. He would like to have some books. How many books? It is not mentioned. Plural sense implied. De in front of livre. Number four, Yannick prend du milkshake au chocolat. Yannick takes or Yannick is taking some chocolate milkshake. Again, milkshake is name of a drink and it is uncountable. We have used du in front of milkshake. Some people say after certain verbs like vouloir, aimer, prendre, avoir and sometimes preferring etc. which are usually related to foods and beverage. I said usually. We use partitive with these verbs. That's just a point of view, but we already mentioned where to use partitive at the beginning of this video. If you listen to that part carefully, you won't need to know these specific verbs. I don't usually teach these verbs in my classes, but as this video will remain documented, I prefer to mention that point of view. Forget it as the last treat given by your friend and call him or her today, right after watching this video and get an invitation on a weekend. But please wear a mask. A mask, l'article indéfini. The mask, l'article défini. And some masks, many masks, few masks, or just masks. L'article partitif. Number five. J'ai rencontré avec des étudiants. I have met with some students. If you want to learn past tense in French, I made two videos on passé composé and the links are in the description below. Number six, je viens de prendre du riz et du poulet. I have just taken some rice and some chicken. Again, name of a food which takes lactic partitif before it. And this tense is called passé récent. You can check out my video on passé récent from this I button. Now, as you got some examples and you are interested to use partitif in your own sentences, let me make it a little bit difficult for you. No, no, not difficult. In grammar, they say, we have got more exception than the rules. If you know the rules, give it a try. Try to know the exceptions also. Why not? Ready? In some special cases, we will not use partitive, but we will use the preposition de in front of consonants and de apostrophe in front of vowels or vowel sounds. Number one, before a plural adjective. Number two, after a negative verb, number three, after the expressions of quantity. Basically, for these three cases, we will not use partitive, we will use the or the apostrophe. I'm giving some very easy examples for you. Number one, ce sont de magnifiques fleurs. These are magnificent flowers. Magnifique is simply a plural adjective. So, like the partitive de can't be used here. We must use preposition de. So, before any plural adjective, we will not use partitive, but we will use de or the apostrophe. Number two, Timothy ne lit pas de livre. Timothy doesn't read books or any book. So, after the negative verb portion, ne lit pas, we have used de instead of partitive, de. If we need to use partitive immediately after a negative verb, we will not use de de la de la apostrophe de, but we will use de or de. The apostrophe. I have many things to tell about this second exception, but I want to keep this very simple. So I'm not going into detailed description of 
slight difference between lateral partitive they and lactical adafini they. Number three. Ela achete beaucoup de crayon. She bought a lot of pencils. Roberto va acheté un kilo de sucre. Roberto is going to buy a kilo of sugar. Hey, some pencils and a kilo of sugar? What kind of food they are making? Maybe her pencils have nothing to do with a kilo of sugar. But the point is, after an expression of quantity like beaucoup de, assez de, tant de, un tas de, un kilo de, deux bouteilles de, cinq paquets de, trois litres de, etc. We will not use partitive, but we will use de or the apostrophe. So no more fear from exceptional cases. Very good. Congratulations. You have learned lactical partitive. Use lactical partitive, take random nouns and write them down in the comment section. I will try to correct as long as it is possible for me. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. Do subscribe to my channel. Share my videos with your friends who are learning French and share your comments in the comment section. So let's say a bientôt. Bonne continuation. When the video gets over and you click subscribe, the fairies come and they hit the bell button for me. Get the sound. Get the sound. I get the sound. You don't? Hey, tell you something. Subscribe. It's free.